Let's talk about another magazine. This time, Spin Magazine. Okay, so Spin was like the knockoff or wannabe Rolling Stone magazine, but it was great because it was another music magazine started by Bob Guccione Jr. Bob Guccione Sr. Uh, was doing Penthouse Magazine and his son, I guess, wanted to get into the magazine business like dad and started Spin Magazine. So my first shoot for them was the great Sherry Curry from The Runaways, which I still love that photo session to this day. She was super cool, super nice. Who else did I shoot for them? I have here, uh, God, I shot Soundgarden. My first session with Soundgarden was for Spin Magazine in 89, I think that was. I shot the Chili Peppers. My first shoot was Chili Peppers was for, for Spin Magazine. I did this great swimsuit issue they did where I shot George Clinton, Big Daddy Kane. Oh my God, that was a funny issue. Uh, I also shot Bad Religion, Kim Gordon, No Doubt, The Cardigans, Corn. God, it's like so many great sessions. That list alone is huge. Every time I would go to New York City, like in any of these magazines, I would always go meet people up. We'd hook up for lunches, you know, do power lunches and talk about stuff, beg for more work, get mad because you weren't working enough. Um, but Spin Magazine was great. It was a lot of fun, pretty raw, you know, compared to Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone was like, you know, corporate big time where Spin was like edgy and fun and crazy. And the people there were just the same. And um, I met Junior half a dozen times and he was always cool to me. You know, what I always talk about was like with that magazine was because I'm on the West Coast doing the shoots or and they're on the East Coast, they kind of like let you do whatever you want. You didn't have too much restrictions. Just here's the session, here's the band, go shoot them and send us what you get. So I remember that big time. And their offices were, I think on the low, I want to say the lower West side maybe, I'm not even sure. But it was New York City and it was a lot of fun. Spin Magazine.